Here's why you should never ask a guy out first or even text him first or even respond to his text if they aren't a meaningful question. It all boils down to the fact that men are hunters. It doesn't matter what year it is, what Cosmo says is trendy, humans are who they are. And men, biologically, their animal selves are hunters. Everything even about their body is designed to hunt. Their hips are square so that they can run long distances, spear that antelope. Their vision is great tunnel vision so that they can focus in on the prey. Women, on the other hand, are biologically predisposed to be like the prey themselves. We have excellent peripheral vision because we're, we need to keep our head in the swivel looking for threats while we got a baby on our much rounder hips. I say this because we like to think that we're modern, you know, that doesn't matter anymore. Think about a dog. In the last 2,000 years, has a dog's inherent instincts changed? No, absolutely not. Dogs were exactly the same when Jesus was around as they are now. People are too. And when you, when you start chasing the guy, when you disrupt that, that nature mode <laughs> the guys go into, you lose sight of what his intentions are. And I know a lot of you are going to leave a comment. I asked the guy, and he became my boyfriend. Girl, I did too. I did that too. I was the one, I was like, oh, I'm such a liberated girl. I can go, what I, go after whatever I want. And then this happened. A guy would become my boyfriend maybe because I realized now he didn't really have anything better to do. He like was flattered and this was easy and okay. It's like when you're kind of hungry but someone offers to make you food and you're just like, sure, I could eat, whatever. Sure, I could have a girlfriend for a few months, whatever. And then one day they'd start to get distant. And then one day they'd start to ghost and the calls and the texts would slow down. And I would tear my hair out being like, what happened? What changed? What changed? And the answer was nothing. Nothing changed. He wasn't chasing me then. He's not chasing me now. He's just being a lot more pointed about it. And had I just let that play out from the beginning, if he wasn't returning my texts, bye. I, if I hadn't, like, if I'd stopped doing the thing where it's like, Oh, I see something that reminds me of him. Beep, boop, 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 boop. And it, like regenerated the conversation, invited him to an event I got invited to. If I had just stopped doing that, his intentions would have been crystal clear. Instead, I was three months into the relationship and there were mixed messages. They weren't mixed at all. They were crystal clear from the beginning. I just didn't see it because I disrupted the natural order of things. Now, some people are going to leave comments, guys, and you'd be like, I like it when a girl takes initiative. <laughs> You know what those guys are called? They're called pussies. There's guys who are like fine with girls paying their bills. Guys who are fine with getting blowjobs and never reciprocating. Guys who are fine letting the chick do all the housework and cook the meal and he just sits there playing Xbox. I bet you are fine with that. Those guys though aren't worth dating. If a guy can't pursue a woman, is he really a man? I mean honestly. And a lot of people say like, Shannon, you're not a feminist. I am more feminist than anyone because I know a woman's worth and a woman is worth being pursued. It's 2015. We are expected as women to be everything. This isn't like the thirties where we just had to be a homemaker. Uh-uh, honey. We have to keep an awesome home. We have to have a college degree or more, a sick career, be an awesome daughter, sister, best friend, girlfriend, employee, everything. We have to be fit and hot and fashionable and super cool and drink beer and like, and we have to do everything. Do, oh, and we have to still birth the babies. That, no one's taking that over for us. We still have to do that. Do we also need to do the courting? It, that to me, being pursued by a man is nature's way of saying, hey, thanks. Good for you. You got, you have to pull that grotesque baby out of your body, which I have seen this in person and grotesque is the word. This is what we get back for all that trouble, for all that strife, is we get to sit back and be flattered and courted and made to feel like the strong warrior princesses that we are. And a true feminist knows that. And a true coward man will try to talk you out of it. And when he does, you come right back here to me.